Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. Uh, today's tutorial, we're going to take you guys into my audio, uh, audio effects folder. I'm going to open up a Waves plugin called the R Decessor. I'm going to open it up, show you guys what kind of options it has to offer. Uh, basically, give you guys a little overview on it, get you guys a little bit more familiar with the plugin. Uh, please keep in mind, I'm not going to go too in depth with it today. I'm going to later on in my future videos, I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how I, how the R Decessor works on the audio file. I'm going to show you guys how to get the best optimum results out of it. And for right now, please remember that you do have to have certain Waves bundles in order to open this plugin. But uh, for right now, let's go into Audio Effects, Audio Units, Waves. When they go down to uh, our Decessor, when they open it up, it's going to look a little something like this. Basically, what it does is it takes the S's, uh, the S's out of your um, uh, vocal. Let's say you got somebody who's too s -y. If you hear that all the time, this basically it will cut it out. Got your frequency range, your type, uh, and, your, and your mode if you want to split it, wide bat it. Uh, basically, this is the graph you got going on. You got your range, you got your threshold, and you got your uh, uh, graph in case uh, you uh, you distort. So this is basically it. Uh, check it out for yourself. You know, throw it on audio track. See what you can see. See what kind of effects you guys can get out of it. See if you guys uh, know how to work it yourself. And, you, and if you guys can't qu uh, get quite cracking at it, uh, I'm gonna go in and show you guys how to how to use it later on in my future videos. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and please subscribe.